Hello friends and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment under the playlist of Smart Minds. Here in this video, we'll see a very uh, simple yet a very useful technique that is how to customize your quick access toolbar that you find it on Excel. So let us straight away go into laptop and see how it is done. Here in the laptop, as I show you, this is the Excel, blank Excel sheet. As you can see in the topmost left corner of your excel sheet you can see this portion yeah this portion is your quick access toolbar uh, as the name suggests this quick access toolbar means anything that is very quick and easy to access well as you can see this is the first icon so this is the excel icon itself you can restore minimize this window excel window here this is something called uh, save as you can see the floppy symbol here undo redo and this one by default this thing comes in when whenever you open your excel sheet and this is the touch mode mouse mode so if you just uh, click here it can take you to touch mode if you have a touch screen it will just uh, make your like uh, alignment of all icons your menu bar uh, ribbons etc a little bit spread out so that you can easily touch it or uh, once again if i press it or select this it, it, again it will return to the mouse mode so this is the quick access toolbar where you can find quick shortcuts just by clicking you can uh, run that uh, command or run that um, feature wh what you want so here if you want to customize your quick access toolbar you can go to this arrow this drop down arrow just click here you can already see some icons available like new open email quick print uh, print review etc etc for example i check on new so once i check you can see this is the new file icon opens up if i press here one more new file i get it here so similarly you can uh, like uh, uh, check or uncheck anything from this drop down menu new open undo redo sort ascending ascending sort descending most of the things like uh, with which you are mostly or regularly working with you can put it in quick access toolbar so that you can readily and easily go to that option and uh, work on it so for example i mm, once again press this more commands there's a whole lot of command that you can put it in quick access toolbar pivot table table sum smelling uh, shapes uh, for example i click on shapes add so it will be added here uh, for example pictures i add again it has come here added here so i press ok here once i do that you can see this icons have been added in the quick access toolbar and uh, the like easiest way to add something in this quick access toolbar is if at all you just want to add from this ribbon this menu bar uh, for example i go to data once i go here you can see uh, there's a lot of options available. I use data sorting and filtering a lot. So I, what I do here, uh, what I'll be doing here is just click, right click on this filter, add to quick access toolbar. Once I do that, you can see the filter has also come here. Again, if I go here to sort, right click, add to quick access toolbar. Again, it has come here, the sorting icon. And uh, many other things like uh, I go to home page. I use a lot wrap text merge all these things so instead of uh, going to wrap text uh, going to home then wrap text then merge I just click here add to quick access toolbar this wrap text icon comes here again merge add to quick access toolbar it is available here similarly you if you want to like uh, delete just go and remove from quick access toolbar go to any icon uh, click right click here and remove from quick access toolbar so this way you can like uh, use customize add or remove any icons or any command any feature of excel any tools of excel into this quick access toolbar or remove those items as well from the quick access toolbar so i hope you found this video useful i hope you learned about how to use quick access toolbar knew how to customize quick access toolbar in excel uh, if you found this video useful please like this video and share this video across various platforms so that many people come to know of this simple but yet a very useful technique 
and if you haven't subscribed to this channel infotainment yet please do so to get more of such little little technical videos to make your digital life simpler and easier so till the next video see you again see you soon keep watching infotainment thank you